It's the Daily Doug. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the Daily Doug. Thanks for being with me today. My friends, on today's episode, I am going to be hearing a song that many, many of you have been telling me is an absolute classic of guitar repertoire, and I'm going to be hearing it for the first time. The song is Classical Gas, and I'm happy that you are with me. So, uh, here's the backstory to how this episode came about. Several months ago, I accepted a submission to my master list for upcoming uh, episodes from our supporter, Kendi, and they had suggested to me that I listen to the more recent cover of this classic song performed by guitarist Tommy Emmanuel. So it's been hanging out on my master list waiting for me to do it on uh, an episode here for a few months. And so just last month, uh, as we were amassing our selections for our acoustic fan favorites video over on Patreon, our supporter Jay Wild suggested the original version by Mason Williams and it garnered enough votes to make it into our uh, Patreon fan favorites video. But I took the hint, y'all. I took the hint that many folks want me to hear this and, and give a review to it, so I promoted it to YouTube for this week, and I'm happy to see what this piece is all about. I'm going to start with the original from Mason Williams. He originally composed and performed this piece, and it was released as a single in April of 1968. Its original name was called Classical Gasoline, uh, but it was shortened, uh, I think, by a, uh, a music copyist. And Mason was hoping that the piece might add some fuel uh, for the development and composing of new pieces for classical guitar. Really interesting. At the time, Mason was the head writer for the Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour and he premiered the piece on that uh, very popular television show. And as a result, it seems, the piece became pretty ubiquitous. It appeared in several movies and television shows, and it was even used as a theme for news broadcasts back in the day. And as I look into it here, it's been covered by <laughs> literally an army of musicians. And it's amazing to me that I never even heard of this composition until y'all put it forward for me to review. I think I would have remembered because I would have made like a middle school level joke about the, na <laughs> about the name of the piece. But um, we're going to listen to it and I'm going to really look forward to seeing what this is all about. We're going to hear the original studio cut from Mason, Will uh, Mason Williams and it goes like this. Here we go. Hmm. So, do, A minor, up to the relative major. Back to the minor. Seven, minor five, back to one, natural minor. It doesn't sound familiar, folks. There's a C. Major four. One. There it is. Suspensions. Where did the brass come from? Suspended chords. You get back to A minor. Wow. Up to the C, down to the B, back to A, G, C, B, A minor, to the G. Really great hook to it. 
That is a short little piece, but it's got a lot of personality, doesn't it? It starts off with the acoustic guitar by itself, and that's how I was expecting it to continue. And then these musicians just pop in, and you've got uh, some orchestral backing at times. The brass, some strings, uh, some, some percussion. And uh, it was in A minor, and uh, the main part was going from A down to G, down to E, down to uh, back up to A, and um, they flipped into the relative major C a couple times, and they even gave us uh, an occasional D major chord over that A, uh, which makes it sound like a Dorian mode sort of thing, a major four over that minor one chord. That was fun, friends. Uh, I can see uh, why that gives a lot of fodder for uh, other uh, musicians to give their own stamp on it. There's several things that you can plug into and do with that and even expand it uh, to, to make it longer. Really fun. So let's go to the Tommy Emanuel version, y'all. So uh, again, thanks to Kendi for originally submitting this uh, version for review. Tommy Emanuel is a guitarist from Australia and he originally released his album called Classical Gas back in 1995. And uh, his cover of Mason's song has become a staple of Tommy's live performances over the years. And today we're gonna hear his uh, solo acoustic performance of this that on his YouTube channel has garnered almost 27 million views in a little over 10 years. And so I'm uh, late to the party, obviously. And like I said, y'all, I know that many in our audience love this specific recording. And I want to specifically uh, uh, thank our friend uh, Mark, who is a friend of the channel. Hi, Mark. Uh, and uh, Mark is recovering from a really bad car accident. And Tommy Emanuel is one of his favorite artists. And I know that he is really excited to hear my reaction to this song. So thanks, Mark, for watching the channel and uh, for your support, and I hope that your uh, recovery continues to go well. And, um, and, yeah, and I'm thankful to all of y'all for uh, your continued support and for being a part of my uh, education here in learning all of this rep that I hadn't previously known about. So let's go to Tommy Emanuel, folks. I haven't heard this one either, and I feel like I'm late to the party because so many other people have. So here is Tommy Emanuel with his cover of Classical Gas. Off we go. A little flare at the beginning. Same key. There's the G. There's the E. I'm mesmerized by classical guitar technique, y'all. Little rhythm signs. Circle of fists, two to five. That's a five. Extended five. Two, five, 
gonna be? Where is he gonna go? Saturday, 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 Saturday night's all right. Is that what he's playing? Take a breath, man. It's amazing how live those microphones were. You could hear every little thing that was happening. I love hearing uh, a like a real live performance like that. It's uh, with really great microphones. Wow, that came together. Mark, I understand why you love that. I understand why all of y'all love that. That was fun to listen to. What a piece. And what a piece that is rife for development and exploration. Uh, it's no wonder that all of these uh, musicians over the years have covered this. Um, over on our Discord, members of our community, uh, once they figured out that I was going to do this, they've posted several versions of this song uh, that they thought, yeah, sure, while we're playing, uh, it's not just the Tommy Emanuel on the original Mason Williams version. They posted versions of this by Rick Wakeman, uh, by the Scottish band Beggar's Opera, uh, Larry Fast and Synergy, Eric Clapton, and the cover by Mannheim Steamroller that I should have known about because I grew up in Omaha. And I still, y'all, um, after hearing both of those, they're not familiar to me. I, I don't think I had heard those previously. And now I'm happy that I have. Uh, that's really, really cool. And I want to go back and explore some of those other covers of it, especially the ones that were used for television news curious about that um so thanks to our community for uh helping me along in my um ongoing quest here to uh become more acquainted with all of this great music uh that i had previously overlooked this has been fun y'all mason williams the original composer and performer of classical gas and a ripping cover by australian guitarist tommy emmanuel thank you all for being with me and for listening we'll see you next time on another edition of the Daily Doug.